What's up guys and welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we're revisiting Dream Enders by Christopher Withy. He uh, reached out to me on YouTube and told me about a glitch that was uh, happening at the ending scene. I'm going to replay through it and I'm going to try to get all the endings this time since I was doing a review last time and this time it will be more of a free walk, full walkthrough. <laughs> yes, it is correct. He did tell me he had an Easter egg. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. You wake up in a place you don't recognize. With no memory of how you got here, you find yourself in a small wooden bedroom. The decor, though sparse, looks comfortable enough. It looks like that of a room from a small roadside end, or, end, or perhaps a dormitory of some wealthy institution. I did really like the story in this game. Several more lines, rooms line either side of the hall. To your left are the distant sounds of conversing and laughter. To your right stands a man with scruffy brown hair, looking out, outwardly in his 20s. <laughs> hey! Well, it's said to come check up on you. Oh, hey, since you're up, you want to go to the meeting with us? Follow me! <laughs> this elaborate foyer is lined on either side by two grand staircases. To your right, the ticking of a grandfather clock marks the passage of time. <laughs> Standing before you, you approach two women, both looking the same age as your guide. One stands tall, her long black hair punctuated by strands dyed purple down the front. She meets you with warmth and a smile. Across from her stands a shorter, stockier woman, her head shaved nearly bald but for a strip of blonde hair down the middle. Opposite the warmth of the other, this woman bears a seemingly permanent scowl. She stands eyeing you and everyone around you crossly. I found her! Very good, Jacqueline. Thank you. I didn't realize she was ever lost. Mm -hmm. I'm so relieved to see that you're doing alright. You had us all worried when we found you were out there in the wilderness. My name is Violet, and this is my friend Ambrose. Yo. And you've already had the pleasure of meeting our good friend Jackern. Yay, that's me! <laughs> or is around here too, somewhere. The important thing is that you're safe now. After finding your unconscious, my friends and I brought you here to the Applewood Manor. You've been sleeping in one of our guest rooms. Don't worry about the bedroom, you can keep using it. And as long as you stay as long as you like, we have lots to spare. Everybody needs somewhere safe to stay until we can go home again, after all. So you might have lots of conversations. What can we help you with? Pilot and I carried you here from the wilderness. We found you out in the bushes outside of town. Well, okay, it was mostly Ambrose who carried you. She's very strong. You should be more careful out there. You should be. You could have really been hurt, or worse. Do you have any other questions for me? Applewood Manor, on behalf of the entire guild, welcome. In case you're not familiar, it's a guild hall here in Centralia, right in the middle of the enclave. I'm sure you've noticed by here, by here a hundred times without. I'm certain. You, oh, I just can't read. I'm sure you've passed by here a hundred times without notice, even noticing. Oh, but don't worry. You don't have to be a member to stay here. We're open to anyone. It's just our way to help. Our way of trying to help since the game broke. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 Why, I'm Violet, and this is Ambrose and Jack. Of course, and there's Ambrose, uh, Aurora, God, still inside the dining hall. Ambrose is a fighter. I'm more of a support, you could say. And Jack, Hearn, well, we're just happy to have him around. We're just doing our best to help out around here until everyone can go home. No big secret here, honest. What am I supposed to be doing? Why, you're welcome to do whatever you like, of course. You could stick around here and join us for our meeting. Maybe get to know some of the other good people staying here. Or you could explore the town and make friends. I'm sure there's a lot of people eager to talk to you. If you feel like leaving the town again, do try to be careful, please. I don't want to see anything bad to to happen to you again. I don't have any questions. Okay, feel free to walk around. 
and talk to anyone you like. We're all friendly here, I promise. If you would like to attend the meeting, come talk to me again. Bye. Talk to my girl and bros. Yeah, I'm sure if you want to be talking to me, Violet is the face of the group. She's the one you're going to be going to want to be talking to. Whatever, do you what do you want? What's this place? Why did I get here? Eh, what do you mean? What is this place? It's Applewood Manor, you know. In Centralia. Inside Dream Enders RPG, yes, you logged into this virtual reality MMO the same as all of all the rest of us did. Ringing any bells? Man, you must have hit your head pretty hard or something. We all got here the same way. Pretty sure you did too, weirdo. Yeah, that's a good question. I'd sure like to know the answer to that one too. A lot of people would. This lady, I called her, I call her the pitch queen, shows up and says that if we log out, we die, which is some bullshit. When I logged into this stupid game, I didn't sign up for having my brain fried to mush if I leave. Damien and his PvE guild think we can all log out again once we beat the, and beat the end boss. Hope he's right. That's why I've been helping him out. If I'm ever gone for a while, it's because I'm off on a raid. I'll come back, though I have no intention of dying in this shithole place. Plus, Violet needs me around to keep order around here. What else do you need? Yeah, so? Oh, I asked her if she carried me. I should probably read those before I start. All right, one second. You. Let me make sure I'm recording too. That would be a good thing to do. <laughs> and we're good. Can't have unconscious people just lying around in bushes. It would clutter up the place. Besides, Violet insisted. Insisted. Tell me more about yourself. Uh, what? Look, I'm here to smash things until XP explodes out their ears. Then I go somewhere elsewhere and do it again. That's who I am, and that's all I am ever going to be in this place. I'm not here to make friends. I don't even want to be here at all. So don't get too chummy with me or anyone else. Because the moment the game is fixed, you will never see me or any of these people, those pe these people again, ever again. Oh, you would do well to remember that. Okay. Peace out. You see Ambrose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh. Hi, person. It's so cool that I found you. Now I have someone to play with. Hey, want to go play tag later, maybe? The front yard is real big and filled with trees and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, did you want to ask me about something? What do you keep saying you found me? Because I did find you. I found you outside your room. And then I found you again, standing in the hall right in front of me. I'm the best at finding things. Another question? What do you do around here? I beat up all the bad guys, yep. Big job keeping the whole universe safe. It's a it's a lot of work and stuff. They really need me around here, especially Ambrose. She's mean. I try to beat her up too, but she looks at me all mean like, and I run away. But I beat up all the other bad guys. Yep, all one hundred and twenty percent of all bad guys. You know how to leave? Out the front door. Ha <laughs> ha. No, but we have to wait for the others to fix it before we can leave. Or else our heads turn into jello. I'm, I hope it's not that icky green apple jello because that stuff is gross and weird. Did you know jello is made from hearse turds? Gross. My brother told me that. I miss my family. Another question? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I know this one. I'm Jackern. I'm big and strong fighter person. Better not fight me. I'll beat you up nine times. That's just in the game though. You'll never guess my name in real life. You'll never guess, never ever, and I'm not going to tell you, nuh-uh. You'll never guess, you'll never guess, and you're never going to find out. Haha, -ha. it's Jack. <laughs> also, I'm not supposed to tell you that my last name is Mills. My mom says I'm not supposed to tell strangers, so I won't. Good enough, I guess. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, hello again. I hope you're doing well. You decide if you want to attend our meeting and get to know everyone. I would like to join your meeting. 
That's wonderful to hear. I hear you'll like. I think you'll like everybody here as much as I do. Follow me. I'll introduce you to everyone. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending our first meeting here. For those of you who are new, welcome. We hope you find Applewood Manor to be comfortable enough. And don't worry, the other guilds are working hard to make sure everyone can go home soon too, very soon. Ambrose has been working with them to make sure that we can leave this game as soon as possible. We'll all be home soon enough, right Ambrose? Uh, sure. Important thing to know is that you're safe here. Aura promised me that no matter, no monsters can get, can ever get in here. <laughs> Not even the Witch Queen. <laughs> That is correct. See? No wor need to worry. Now, uh, maybe we can go around the room and say everything about- say something about ourselves. As you probably already know, my name is Violet. I work at the tailoring shop here in town. And I live in Maui. Wow, I've never heard of that country before! <laughs> Maui is an island, Jacker, and it's in, in Hawaii. Really? How did they fit an entire country inside of Hawaii? <laughs> Uh, Jacker, why don't you go next? Oh boy, my turn! My name is Jackie, but that's a secret, so don't tell anyone. And I'm a big, strong fighter in this game. I'm super brave to beat up all, all the bad guys. And I live in New York, and I like pizza, and I go to a stupid rundown school. But it's okay, because my friends are there. Oh, and I like carving jack o' lanterns with my dad. That's fun. You do know that Dream Enders MMO is made for ages 17 and up. How are you even here? Because I'm totally like old and stuff. Super old. That's me, Mr. Old Enough. I'm like 300 years old, actually. Yeah, that seems legit. Well, you're a man in real life. <laughs> Nobody says anything about that. Jackern, shut your damn mouth, you little shit. <laughs> Ambrose, calm down, please. There are children present. You mean like him? So long as he keeps his damn mouth sh god damn mouth shut, I'll be fine. Okay, well, would you like to go next, Edgar Ambrose? Ass. Oh, uh, okay, how about you, Aura? Thank you, Violet. I would just like to say how honored I am to be able to help out around here. I am grateful to be able to give you all Applewood Manor as your temporary home. I do apologize for the inconvenience and hope that many of you will choose to stay once this technical glitch gets worked out. Screw that. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess that concludes this first meeting. Don't any of you worry. We'll all be home soon. Everyone stay safe out there. We'll meet again in the next few days with more updates. Thanks, everyone. Oh, hello again. I know that the first meeting wasn't very good. I guess I'll try to do better next time. Say, uh, Sir Fluss, I've been meaning to ask you something. This might sound weird, but I do work at a clothing store, so I know most of the diff- Ooh, burp. I'll call burp. I know most of the different clothing items in the game, but I've never seen a t-shirt or blue jeans anywhere in this game. I'd be curious to know how you got them, that is, if you remember. I have some customers who might like to buy some. Weird question, I know. I'm sorry. But did you want to ask me something? Why does Jack run think that Ambrose is a man? The question we're all dying to know. Oh well, you see, Dream Enders MMO lets you choose anything you like for your character. I don't know if you knew this already, but you can change their, their gender, size, colors, and appearance. All kinds of things. So it's possible for you to make a character who looks nothing like you. Pretty fun, don't you think? There's only a few things you can't change with your character. Age is one of them. You never really know who the person is that you're talking to. Pretty exciting, don't you think? Super exciting! Toki Doki Saru. Why does Ambrose think that Jack is too young to be here? Your character age is one of the things that you can't change. We all look like we're in our early 20s here. Which is okay for me. <laughs> I like my character's age. Someone like Oram might appear older, but that's because of the hair color he selected. Game developers of Dream Enters in MMO didn't did that to prevent problems since we're all grown ups. We're all supposed to be grown ups here in here anyways. There's supposed to be some kind of security measure to keep minors out of the game, but their parents can't override it. So who knows really? I think the mystery is fun. Do you want something else from me? How do I get back to where I came from? 
Oh, well, nobody's completely certain on how to get back home, or did... You mean after the game broke? We found you in the bushes just outside of town. I don't know what you were doing there. I'm sorry, you don't s seem to remember. Maybe you can walk around and find some clues. Maybe something around here can jog your memory. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. I hope your memory comes back soon. What are you look like where you're from? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm pretty boring in real life, honest. I basically look like my avatar, but not as pretty, of course, and just a little bit younger in the purple streak in my hair. I added that there. Other than that, I don't know what else to add, but thank you for asking. That's sweet of you. Okay, come back and see me soon, okay? Take care. You see Violet. Oh, crap. Oh, get off me. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, huh? You again. What do you want? How what Jackerin said to you earlier. Yeah, what about it? Uh, let's give her the real answer. It doesn't actually matter what you are. Damn right it doesn't. Nice to know someone gets it. Jeez, you happen to pick an avatar with boobs and suddenly everyone won't stop bothering you. That's some bullshit. In real life, I could have had five testicles and seven and a half churners. <laughs> I could be an evolved potato monster covered in squishy testicles or a sentient eggplant bent on world dis domination. That's hot. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters here except for stabbing the other guy because before they stab you. Appearances are cosmetic and thus pointless because it doesn't mean anything. I can drink to that. I can drink to that. Wait a second. Let me do a little editing magic. Ooh. I can drink to that one, though. Doesn't matter what people think about you. Tell them, Ambrose. Nice to know that not everyone here is either a horny nerd or a retarded ass fuck. <laughs> My soul, <laughs> she just retarded ass face shit talking punk kid. Oh, that hit me hard. Avoid being either one of those and we'll get along just fine. <laughs> Why didn't you want to share in the meeting? You may not have picked up on this yet, but I'm not really into holding hands and singing songs. I realize this whole whole ordeal is to appease the newcomers, but I would rather be out there st stabbing to death that bitch queen. Then we can all log out and this new stupid nightmare will end. So no, I don't feel the need to share my feelings. I'd rather get the hell out of here and avoid the campfire songs, thank you. What else do you need? Look, I don't know who you are and you don't know who I am. So between us, it's really none of your goddamn business. I avoid him, he avoids me. We get along just fine, so long as he keeps his big trap shut. You should consider doing the same. Damn. There's something I could do to help out around here. Take up a sword and murder every single monster you come across. Maybe one of them is the key to letting us live. The PVE guild is scheduled to clear out the Goblin Tower later today. You, excuse me. You could maybe help by joining us. If you're a decent fighter. Decent? I'm the best fighter. Otherwise, just hang tight and stay out of our way. We're going to slaughter every single damn critter in this game if it means we can finally log out again. Whichever you choose is up to you. We're good either way. <sighs> That's all I need. Peace. What haven't I talked to? Oh, Jackron's sitting at the table now. Was he sitting at the table last time? I don't know. Is that Jackron? I miss my family. Yeah, I don't remember that. I'm depressed. Who's this guy? Oh, there I thought that was Jacker. Hey again, you found me. Cool meeting, right? I like the part where I told everyone that I like pizza. What did you think? About what you said to Ambrose earlier. You mean how she's actually a boy? What about it? Uh, 
Uh, I don't really think that's any really any of your concern. Punk, you sound just like Ambrose. You're not going to turn into a grumpy butter up too, are you? Well, they're not. Ambrose is a boy. She's just mean sometimes, you know. And I don't like when she's mean to me. Something else? How old are you really? I'm like nine hundred thousand million years old. Yep, that's me. I'm way old. She's a big old meanie poopy butt. Only a boy could be that grumpy all the time. I mean, I like her okay, but when she's not acting mean, she acts kind of like my big brother, and she's a boy. <laughs> so <laughs> Sometimes, my big brother picks on me. I don't like when he picks on me. I wonder what he's doing right now. That's it. Fucking jacker. See you later, crocodile. After a while, alligator. Greetings, fair sir fluffs. I trust the day finds you well. How may I be of service for you? Why do you sound so different from others? Oh, do I? That must be my accent coming through. I was born and raised in Wales before I moved. Is Wales an English accent? God, how would I do that? I believe the others. <laughs> I can't. Okay. <laughs> From various parts around the world. States. Good ear, you caught me. <laughs> how did you afford this play? Oh, I have been playing this game for some time since this beta release. I have done most of its quests and seen all of its locations. It really is a beautiful game. It is simply the most immersive experience on the planet. A fully three-dimensional world waiting here for you to explore. Oh, but do go on a bit. I apologize. As for the funds, you need not worry yourself over that. It's all been taken care of, I promise. You just focus on enjoying your time here. Okay, I'm changing my bad guy. Print, like hypothesis from the first video to this one this guy's the main bad guy 100% how long have you known the others here not very long actually Ambrose has made quite a name for herself in the PvP and PvE guilds violent and the other ones and the others though I confess I only met them a few days ago since the glitch I heard what they were doing to improve the player experience and I volunteer to my lend my aid. Their hearts are in a good place. We are all doing what we can to smooth over this unfortunate wrinkle. Good enough. Be well, Sir Fluffs. <laughs> I wonder if this door's still locked. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. I know he said the new part hasn't come out yet, but I just want to check. Be safe. The brick walls of Applewood Manor spread wide to either side. Before it stands an orchard of perfectly round apple trees. Around you, you hear the woodland songs of small birds and beasts. To the east stretches a dirt track. Is there anything to the east? I don't remember there being... Oh, there's a training area, right? You see Applewood's training grounds, complete with straw targets and weapon racks. Beyond it, a lazy stream trickles out over, out over, the, ed out over the hedges around the manor. Reading is hard. <laughs> Gotta whip out the hook on phonics every now and then. I don't think they change their messages. Yeah, uh, they're not important to be honest. They're just like NPCs. Okay, so let's go into the cathedral. Nothing, okay. Wait a second, let me make sure there's nothing in the other spots as well before I... Yeah, there's not. Okay, good. I'm not missing anything. But I'm super excited to see other parts of this game though as this guy further develops it. Cause it's see I really like the dialogue in this game. It's really interesting. You see a sturdy warden door. Like the overall premise seems really sort out online like, but the characters are a lot more enjoyable and the overall story seems a lot more enjoyable as well. So I'm pretty excited myself. Granted, I know it takes a long time to release something like this when you're doing it by yourself mostly. Oh goat man. 
Welcome to the Wandering Goat. How may I be of service? Goodbye. <laughs> Nailed it. Super service. One thing I will tell you though that I mentioned in my last video is when you're opening a door, you have to be still. Actually, let me see if that works without being still. I know in the the first time I played it, I had to be like perfectly not moving. Which doesn't seem like a big deal. But when you're used to like just hitting a button and walking through something, it's kind of a big deal. Pretty much, yeah, you gotta pretty much just sit there. Greetings, citizens. How may I be of service? Nothing. I'm looking for certain people right now. You see a young girl with golden hair looking morose upon the iron bench. You tell me the game is so broke that I can't leave to see my family again. When can we go back home? You will find help at the Applewood Manor while we wait to leave. Well, I know I can't see my family right now, but it's okay to hang out with them for a while at Applewood. Okay, I guess I'll wait there with everybody else. Thanks for your help. So you can have an impact on the game. She just left. Uh, oh. <laughs> Do you guys want to see something <laughs> messed up real quick? I found him. Actually, let me talk. Let me go somewhere else first. There's a certain place I need to go. For plot purposes. Is this the clothing store? Or Yes. Wait, where's... What's her face? Uh, I messed this up somehow. I don't know. Usually, the last time I did it, Violet was here when I walked in there, but... Whatever. Maybe I need to go... Let's try this first. I don't remember exactly how I did it last time. Yeah, you need to go... Keeping the gate shut isn't, isn't going to solve the problem, Damien. It's not meant to solve the problem, Baxter. It's meant to save lives. Aren't the players here already trapped enough? You're going to trap them even more? The gate will keep the monsters out of the city. The players will be safe here until we end, the gate, end this game, and we can all leave again. You mean, when we end this game? That's when we, all, we can all log out again. Letting the PvP guild run around killing players doesn't sound like any kind of solution to me. You should be working with us, taking down the endgame raid boss with my PvE guild. We don't run around killing ungilded players. You know that, and Dream Ender's MMO has always featured PvP as its endgame. That's just common knowledge. Once only one guild is left in the game, the game will end and we will, and we will all wake up back home. Or we'll all be dead. Besides, I'm not telling my guild to disband until after we've killed the last boss, the Dark Sentinel. I'm certainly not going to tell them to run around and kill- to run around killing each other. That boss was only put in to let players grind for better PvP gear! He is not how we beat this and get out of here. Well, until I hear a better plan that doesn't involve mass murdering, I'm doing it my way. You helped us, we beat him, and be out of here even sooner. My guild isn't even equipped for raids. Besides, we are helping by leaving your guild alone to keep raiding. Once you and I are the last two guilds in the game, however, we're going to have this whole discussion again. Our guild will be ready for yours. Damn it, Damien. Quit making this hard on all of us. I want to go home. So do I, Baxter, but I'm telling you, killing or disbanding the other guilds is not the solution. PvE raids are. And I'm telling you, this game was built from the ground up to support a PvP endgame. That was the whole point of this place. For all of our sakes, I hope you're wrong. So do I. I wish I was. We're going to raid the Goblin Tower tonight. We'll let you know if anything changes. Good luck, buddy. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> okay, okay, now, now we go to the satin school. Damn it. Yeah, I do wrong. <laughs> I did something wrong. <laughs> Whatever. What you really need to do here, I think. Hopefully Ambrose is in here. Oh, open. I know one time I met Violet at the satin school. I'm not that drunk. I managed to take some of the bread and ham before it despawned. You watch as Ambrose passes food through the bars to the past prisoner beyond. 
I know it isn't much, but between the despawn timer and Jackern's fat ass, I can barely walk out of there with any food at all. Thank you, Ambrose. It's no big deal. I know the food they give you in here is, is shit. And you know, when you get out of here in a few days, you can always stay with us at the Applewood Manor. You know this whole thing is a shitty situation, but it's better than nothing until it's safe to log out again. Keep hanging in there, and we'll all get out soon. I will. Thanks again. Oh, hey, Sir Fluffs. What's up? Who are these people? Most of them are just players like us. They're still in their starter ropes because they're probably too scared to leave the city to go level. They were thrown in here for the unspeakable crime of having nowhere to stay or needing to steal food, just have something to eat. Stupid ass city guards don't know any better. Dumbass NPCs. They just follow their programming without any empathy. They're just glorified robots. No one in here deserves any of this. First they get trapped in this shitty game. Then they get trapped in a prison cell. It's all bullshit if you ask me. Oh, except for that Santa Claus looking dude at the end. He's probably just another dumbass NPC. Probably put in here to make the dungeons look more full. Ignore him. Because I can, so I did. What they've been through. They could use a little help, or don't you agree? I agree with you, these people do need our help. Obviously, it's a shitty situation seeing other players locked up like this. As if it weren't already trapped in this shithole game after that bitch queen broke it. It's just basic human decency to want to help. Glad to see you have some of that. Others might not. These guys might will be out of here soon. Then they'll be joining us in Applewood Manor. If you'd like to help out, go around and look for other players who might need our help. Tell them there's housing and food for anyone in need. Tell them that life here doesn't have to be shit, as says. At least until we finally get out of here. I'm glad we can see I die on this. We need real life people here. We need real, we real life people have to take care of each other. No one, nobody else will if we don't. Uh, I don't have the option that I need. I messed this up somehow. Ugh. Whatever. I don't think I actually need it, but it it's extra tax. Ho ho ho! Well met, citizen! Well met, citizen! <laughs> Fucking Santa. God dang it. What's up, man? You see a prisoner with dark red hair and sad eyes. Oh, hello! Have you come to let me out? No, right? No one can actually do that, can they? Come to help like Ambrose? What's your name? Oh, my name is Lyra. And what's your name? Sir Fluffs, huh? Hey? I like that screen name. Nice to meet you, Sir Fluffs. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I can't afford a place to stay. I was told I couldn't log out or any else I would die. I didn't really have much money set aside, you see. But I couldn't afford a room, and I guess sleeping in the alleyways here is a crime. I didn't know. So here I am. Only a few more days now. At least they feed us here, you know. It's not that bad. With Ambrose coming here to help, and now you... I mean... Could be worse, right? Yeah. Let's get to the ending text. I want to see... I want to go through all the endings and see what he fixed. Because there was a part that he said he fixed. I'm going to kill this dude real quick because I'm... An awful individual. What's up, man? The wish cream queen says if we log out, we will die in real life. Is it really true we can never log out again? I don't know when we'll be able to log out again. Oh, I, I hit the wrong text. The witch queen never said when we will be able to leave again. I wonder if we're just going to be trapped here forever, or would it be better to take our chances and log out anyway? Can I talk to him again? Ah. So if you tell him that th it's safe and to take his color off, he kills himself. Alright, it's fine though. I'm just gonna go to the ending part. The Goblin Tower! Looming before you stands the stone, squat structure known as the Goblin Tower, just as the, at its entrance stands, looking up at- Damien looking up at its double doors. 
Did you leave the town? No matter, the rest of my guild will arrive shortly. In the meantime, please stay back where it's safe. Um, you're not my dad. What are you doing? Don't go in there, it's dangerous, get back here! You yeah, have any thought? You see clear signs of battle littering, littering the room as you enter. Broken crates and debris are scattered everywhere. Uh, there's... You picked up a small plastic device used by other players to log out. Actually, let's go a little bit farther. Uh, wait a second, how do I get out? There we go. Gabe Key! Through cracks in the wall, you can see what looks like an army of goblins waiting in ambush just behind the battered doors. Kill them! You must die! Wait, don't kill me. Why for I must not, no, kill you? Because I'm too pretty to die. You ugliest human. Too ever ugly. Uglier than even ugly troll. Who is twice as ugly than ugly giant ugly rats. Covered in ugly fur with giant ugly wards. Let's try all these things. Stupid human talk. Stupid words. Bashing head with will be only thing broken for stupid human. Why for I must no kill you? Look out! A big scary monster is behind you! Big monster waits its turn. Let me kill you first, then kill big monster. Why for me? I must not kill you. I don't believe I belong here. I'm just trying to get back home. You make no sense. Me don't care where you come from. Me kill you anyway. Because you're not really such a bad guy after all. Bad guy? Me goblin guy. Goblin guy who kills stupid human. Who be saying stupid words? Why I must be no kill you? Cause you don't really want to kill me, do you? Goblin always want to be killing human. Is only thing goblin good at in whole world. Why for I must no kill you? Cause goblins are too stupid to kill anybody. Goblin going look stupid than stu smarter than stupid human with stupid head bashing on the floor. Oh. Okay, wait a second. That's the one he wants. Nobody actually dies here, not really. You will be looking more dead with head bashed in. If you die, no die from that, then I just make more bash until you dead dead. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so this is the right answer. Because I'm another goblin, just like you, if you don't have the ship to stab him with. What? You fellow goblin. Why you be looking like ugly human? Me put on ugly human costume to make a walk among stupid humans. Haha, <laughs> you wear stupid ugly human disguise, you two full stupid ugly humans. Stupid humans tricked by ugly disguise, haha. <laughs> you may go past smart goblin dress like stupid human. We did it. Alright, let's save. I should have saved before that. I'm glad that the other answer choices didn't make him full aggro. You just let me do them all. Good stuff. You die now, human! I didn't hit run away. I'm a goblin in disguise. Transformers, goblins in disguise. New smart goblin. Make ugly humans look stupid. <laughs> Let's check the other way. I don't think I ever went the other way. Oh, I can't. There are too many goblins waiting down there. Oh, well, that's why I didn't go the other way, obviously. Alright, let's save again. Let's get all the odd endings. Standing before you are a pair of green-skinned orcs, each standing sh just shorter than you, but carrying an air of authority and determination the goblins could not must muster. That's far enough, humans. Your raiding party has ventured far into this dungeon, but your venture ends here. Goblins, almighty Throg, or king, of the or king of the goblins, command you, come to me, defeat these sniveling humans. My homies. Now attack the humans! Kill them! 
Uh, what humans? What do you mean, what humans? The humans are standing directly in front of you. That's a goblin in human disguise, boss. You idiots! That's no goblin! That's humans in human disguises! Kill those humans! Help! We've all been trapped here by the Witch Queen! I don't know any Witch Queens. All I know are orcs, goblins, and stupid humans. Now no more lip flapping! Kill the humans! Actually, I'm only one human. What? What do you mean, only one human? She's right, Throg. She's only one human. A single human making it all the way up here and alone too? Impossible! No human can make it up to here alone. I'm telling you, there's only one human here, Throg. Don't you argue with me. I'm not arguing with you, Orca. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying it's impossible that you are right. You ungrateful horse turd. Don't you start with me. Enough. Not in front of the human. I have to think. Human, how did you get up here on your own? Alright, which one did I not pick? I didn't sneak in here with you. You snuck in here with me. Ha! <laughs> Now I know that you're lying, because that makes literally no sense. Does it? No, I mean, how would that even... Because we were here first. This is our tower, right? We're still here. Because if I'm here, and you're there, that's just stupid, right? Or am I... Wait. Yes, you are stupid, but in this case, the human is also just trying to trick you. Aha! I knew it all along. I could have never fallen for such a stupid attempt at tricking me. <sighs> Enough of this foolishness. Any last words before we end your existence, human? I don't even know what I'm here for. Go ahead and kill me. That's strangely honest of you. Huh. I've never actually heard anyone say that before. What am I supposed to do now? I think you were just about to kill the human. Yes, but now that she's asking for it so plainly, like that's, it's weird. Do I give the human what she wants and kill her or do I deny her and let her go? Human, quit making things needlessly complicated. Curse you. Hang on boss. Sounds like a human raiding party has just entered the lower levels of the tower. New plan! Go kill other humans! Defend me at all costs! Go forth, goblins! My goblins! Slay them all! Okay, that's pretty much the end of the game. So now... Yes. We play through the other options of that. Oh wait, it closed all the way out. Huh! Okay. But I saved. Continue. Yes. Yes! Wait a second. What am I doing here? I'm messing this up, hardcore parkour. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna skip all the parts except for the new text. But yeah, the... I, I can notice there was a part where it was like 120, which was the error, and it's not there anymore, so he did fix it. Alright, let's try the new answer choice. I slaughtered every goblin in my path. Dirty human lies, I knew it. I'm simply too smart to fall for any of your treachery. Enough of this foolishness. Any last word before we end your existence, human? Wait, I'm here to warn you about an impending human attack. I knew it. That human raiding party is coming back to finish the job. Goblins, secure the lower levels. Prepare the defenses. Defend your king at all costs. You got it, boss. As for you, human, we will meet again very soon. When that time comes, we'll discover what your motives truly are. Next one. <laughs> but as you can tell, the dialogue in this game is really well done. I really enjoy it, so I'm excited to see more of it. Uh, all right.
I am the humans. I tricked him into thinking I was a fellow goblin. Ha! Now I know you're lying because my goblins would never fall for such an obvious, stupid, underhanded, incredibly transparent, and blatantly false lie such as that. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Your goblins are pretty stupid, Throg. I believe her. Fine! So you bested my goblin army. You're still no match for the mighty Throg. I will destroy you myself if I must. Now then, why have you come all this way to confront me? Uh, wait a second. Why did the answers get rearranged? It looks like. This is my favorite ending, I think. <laughs> you think she's beautiful? <laughs> oh. Orca wouldn't look beautiful standing to a half digested corpse of an old troll covered in the hideous. Rashes and gigantic hairy warts. This looks different than what I remember. Stupid human thinks Orko's beautiful? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, she get mad. Are you blind, stupid human? Do you not see her stupid looking face and ugly mole? Ha ha ha! Did you hear this, human Orca? He thinks an ugly orc like you is beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha! You wretched, ungrateful, maggot brained, good for nothing moron. I stand next to you and defend you, and all this nonsense that dribbles out of your mouth, and this is the thanks I get? You pus-filled, donkey brain, useless waste of space. You have nothing but rad droppings and dull rocks bouncing around in that stupid head of yours. You're dumber than every goblin in the land, dumber even than the mud on the ground or the bricks in the wall. Why, you're dumber than even the humans. You wouldn't dare compare me to humans. Well, I am. Fifty times dumber still. Maybe I'd rather be with the dumb humans than put up with your stupidity a moment longer. Are you saying you would choose this ugly human over me? How could you even think that? Maybe I would. Anything is better than being with you. Another moment longer. Hang on, boss. <laughs> Sounds like a human raiding party has entered. Thank the gods! We're under attack! Goblins, go kill things! While we sort things out up here. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. Alright. Two more. Two more endings. As far as I'm tracking. Uh. I robbed the goblins with food. Dirty human lies, I knew it. I'm simply too small for, it's too smart to fall for any of your treachery. Enough of this foolishness. Any last words before we end your existence? Wait, which one did I say? Wait, I'm here to warn you about. Okay, I did these three. Here, this one. The goblins would never listen to the likes of you. Half the time they barely listen to me. Regardless, you will never take my throne. Now, my goblins, kill the human. Hang on, boss. <laughs> okay, one more. Knock in through a secret passage. Aha! Now I know that you're lying. No stupid human could have found any passage that I, the mighty Throg, and all my genius would have missed. I don't think I would use the word genius to describe you. Enough of this foolishness. Any last words before we end your existence, human? Aha! I knew it. The true attentions of you humans have are revealed. We will never be defeated by the likes of you. Now, my goblins, kill the human. 
Hang on, boss. <laughs> New plan. Go kill the other humans. Defend me at all costs. Go fight go forth my gun. Slay them all. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, this was a revisiting of Dream Enders, and I'm still super excited to see anything that comes out in the future. This is like a game with really good dialogue, in my opinion. But if you could, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!